Hello everyone, welcome back to the fast track video revision series of UGC Net Electronic Science. So in the previous video we have learned about the two table of SR flip flop. Okay, so we'll continue from there. So now we'll learn about the excitation table and characteristic equation of SR flip flop. Okay, so I'm writing the characteristic table. Okay, characteristic table of SR flip flop QN, QN plus 1, R, S. So 0, 0, don't care, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, don't care. Okay. So this is the characteristic table. You don't have to mug up this, uh, right? So and uh, uh, remembering more points also is not uh, uh, good for uh, writing the exam, right? Competitive exam because a lot of things you have to remember all at a time. So you can remember this using the truth table also. So truth table is easy to remember. SR QN plus one zero zero. QN no change condition zero one. So you are making the R uh, reset output one so resetting means making the output zero one zero you are setting the flip-flop so output is equal to one 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 as i have told you it is a don't care condition now see i'll explain these two okay you can apply it to the remaining two also so in this condition what is there qn plus one is equal to qn Yes or no? So both are value both values are equal to zero. So Qn plus one is equal to Qn and Qn plus one is equal to zero also. Okay, so Qn plus one is equal to zero as well. So I have to take the two cases, two cases where these two cases are possible. So Qn plus one is equal to Qn is from the uh, so these cases you have to take from the truth table. So QN plus one is equal to QN is the first case. So this case, right? So and QN plus one is equal to zero is the second case. These two cases, okay? So these two cases, QN plus one is equal to QN and QN plus one is equal to zero. I hope you have understood. So QN plus one is equal to QN is the first case and QN plus one is equal to zero is the second case. So here QN plus one is equal to zero and here QN plus one is equal to QN. Only C this column so these are the two cases in these two cases s is not changing right so s is not changing so s is equal to constant which is equal to 0 but r is changing from 0 to 1 when some value changes from 0 to 1 we'll call that as indeterminate or a don't care condition so r is equal to don't care so s is equal to 0 r is equal to don't care so that is what we have written here S is equal to zero and R is don't care. Okay, so this uh, this condition is you can easily remember. So when uh, Q n is equal to zero, now we are making the output one. We are when we are making the output one, we are setting the flip flop. When you are setting the flip flop, you have to give S is equal to one. Now when uh, the present input is 1 and you are making the next state as 0 that is you are resetting the flip flop when you are resetting the flip flop then r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0. Now see the fourth case 1 1 same so qn plus 1 is equal to qn yes or no qn plus 1 is equal to qn and qn plus 1 is equal to 1. So these two conditions so qn plus 1 is equal to 1 is this case and qn plus 1 is equal to 1 is this case that is first and third okay so in first and third s is changing from 0 to 1 so s is a don't care condition and r is unchanged so r is equal to 0 that is what we have written here okay so you can obtain the characteristic table again from the truth table and this is the concept okay it is your wish you can directly remember this if you want if you have good memory you can directly remember this or you can solve from the truth table at the time of exam also okay so this is about characteristic table next is characteristic equation so this characteristic equation is asked many times 
so characteristic equations of flip flops are very very important in UGC net exam point of view okay so you don't have to mug up again so characteristic equation is the generalized expression for the next state output in terms of flip-flop inputs okay generalized output expression or output function in terms of flip-flop inputs and present output so as I've told you this is next state output and this is present output these are present inputs so we need a generalized expression for qn plus 1 in terms of flip-flop inputs and present output so these three will be the inputs for this and this is the output so I'm writing the truth table here is rqn so these are the inputs when you are uh, deriving characteristic equation so three input combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 double 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 double 1 0 and triple 1 okay so again from the truth table only when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 what is the value of qn qn is equal to qn plus 1 is equal to qn only okay so first two conditions are s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 so qn plus 1 is equal to qn so i'm writing same value similarly for the second 0 1 when for next two cases 0 1 s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 so you'll get the output as 0 only okay so output is 0 when s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 so it will be set so it will be output is equal to 1 so output I'm writing it as 1 when s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 it is indeterminate so it is don't care okay so draw the k map because three variables are there you have to draw the three variable k map right so this is s r into qn 0 0 1 1 so 0 1 here right so qn plus 1 uh, 0 0 0 combination so it will be 0 1 here 0 0 next 1 1 0 1 is also 1 this is don't care and this is don't care so you can group like this which forms a quad and you can group like this which forms a pair so output of this quad is s and output of this pair is r bar into qn so qn plus 1 is equal to s plus r bar into qn okay so i'll uh, tell about this k maps in my upcoming lectures okay so this is the characteristic equation okay so this is how we can derive the characteristic table and characteristic equation again from the truth table only so if you can remember truth table then you can derive characteristic table and characteristic equation easily okay